In this video, I'm taking a look at the Grand Inquisitor Star Wars Mission Fleet figure. Let's jump right into it. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Christopher and this is the Grand Inquisitor Star Wars Mission Fleet figure. And I picked this up back in February, just before I went to Las Vegas. And I picked it up at the Dollarama, not too far from me. I have a few in the area. So I picked it up one that's a little further away from me, uh, but I saw this on the shelves. I'd seen previously other Mission Fleet figures. I've seen Boba Fett quite a few times and the Dark Trooper, uh, but this is the first time I've actually seen the Grand Inquisitor Mission Fleet figure in stores, in any store. So I picked it up. I really like the look of these figures. They, they are really detailed for the, the scale that they are, but let's take a quick look at the packaging before we open them up. So... There's the front of the packaging, as you can see, it has Star Wars in the uh, the top right corner there, or top left corner there. Um, you got some really nice artwork of the Grand Inquisitor with the, the probe droid behind him, which looks really, really awesome. There's some other Mission Fleet figures in this wave. So the Boba Fett is an older one. That, that was in a few waves. The Stormtrooper is a little more recent one. I don't have that one yet. Uh, but there's the other side of the packaging, so it does have the Star Wars logo, and it does say Obi-Wan Kenobi on it. It's got the Disney Plus logo on it, or the Disney logo on it there. Um, Cardboard-free packaging, so I think I did open one that was cardboard-free. I believe it was the Dark Trooper, so we'll see. I've, I'm okay with the cardboard-free packaging on these guys. There's the, pack, the back of the packaging there, so you, you get the... Uh, the accessories there so you get like a probe droid you got a stand and you get two different lightsabers so one without the blades out and one with the blades out so that's kind of cool that they, it gives you that kind of options there but the uh, figures are one to one scale as what it shows on the packaging there so let's get this guy unboxed and we will take a closer look at him All right, so we got his cape there, which looks pretty cool. Uh, it looks like it has a spot for his lightsaber hilt. Speaking of his lightsaber hilt, there's one of them. There's a one without the uh, the blades, so that'll clip in to his cape at the back there, just like so. So that's cool. There is the figure itself. So there's the Grand Inquisitor. Like I said, really nice details on these figures for, for how small they are. Look at the detail in the face on this guy. Really impressed with that. And yeah, like you can see his eyes. Like they, they, they even painted his eyes really, really nicely without getting any overpaint on those. So I'm, I'm really happy with how these guys look. They do have a little bit of articulation. So they, they, their arms do move out and forward. They got some swivel in the wrists as well. So again, for, for figures this small, I'm really impressed. The legs kind of just go back and forth like that. The head moves and tilts and stuff. So quite a bit of articu articulation in these, uh, these little figures. And again, the details on these guys. And again, similar to the uh, Funko Pops that I review on the channel regularly, they did do two different kinds of paint, so like the, the gloss paint for some of the harder surfaces on his armor, and then matte black for the uh, softer surfaces on his outfit there, like his pants and uh, the, the sleeves where it shows at the back there, so they're matte. So let's get the rest of the accessories out. So we do have a probe droid here. So here is the probe droid, all in gloss, and again, Nicely detailed for uh, the scale, and there should be a stand here, I think, as well, to put him on.
There we go. So here's the uh, the clear acrylic stand, and the uh, probe droid just kind of goes on top of that, just like so. So there's the probe droid on the uh, acrylic stand. I think that looks really decent, in my opinion. Let me know what you think. And then the last accessory you get is his double-bladed lightsaber. This one does have both. And then the last accessory, and then the last accessory you get is the double-bladed lightsaber. There, this one has both blades out, and I think they did a really nice job on the sculpt work of this, considering again how small it is. Um, I guess it could have done a little bit more detail. I'm not sure if the actual saber hilt has any silver in it or if it's all black. But I, I feel like this is a decent job for, for the scale of toy this is. But the figure itself looks really great with the detail. So let's put the cape on him. So the cape kind of just clips in at the back there with this, uh, this little peg on the cape. Just kind of clips in there. So that's how he looks with his cape on there. And again, like the, I'm just amazed with the, uh, the detail on these little guys here. So there's the uh, the back. So he's got his uh, his lightsaber hilt clipped in. So there he is with his double bladed lightsaber in hand. And I just can't get over the the detail on this guy. Like this guy, out of all the 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 mission fleet figures I've opened up, this guy's probably got some of the better detailing on his face. Um, but I'm just really impressed with the uh, how how small these figures are and how much detail they can get on these little figures here. But they do display well. I do have a few of these. I have Darth Maul and Boba Fett and a couple other ones. But uh, this guy's this guy's a really decent one. If you do see this one in store and he's for a decent price, definitely pick him up. But there's the uh, there's the probe droid and the uh, Inquisitor side by side. So they'll display side by side like that. So that looks cool. I do appreciate that they gave him like a probe droid and not some kind of silly. Sith speeder or something that you don't actually see him in the show with because Boba Fett they gave him like a a weird jet pack a deluxe jet pack and um, Darth Maul they gave him like this weird spider walking machine that you didn't really see him with in the uh, the series or anything like that so I really do appreciate that they gave him a probe droid as the accessory but let me know what your thoughts are on these the Grand Inquisitor Mission Fleet Star Wars figure let me know what you think of them down in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and click to watch one of my other reviews. Thank you so much for watching, and may the force be with you.